Hey y'all, so it's been a while since I've done a wig review, so today I'm going to do an as-as wig review for you guys, and let me tell you, I'm excited. I took a little sneak peek at the hair inside of the bag, and I'm really excited. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. Okay, so first thing is first, can we just take a moment to appreciate the packaging? Most wigs I get will come, you know, in like a plastic bag or just like regular Amazon bag. And I just want to appreciate how beautiful this packaging is. I'm sorry, this is not even a part of the review. This is just the box, but I'm already so excited about it. Okay, so another amazing cool thing about this is you get a wig brush. I've never gotten one of those before whenever I did a wig review, so thank you, As As Hair. And then, of course, a netted wig cap. Um, some people like these, some people don't. My best friend, Gavin, really likes these. And then, of course, the woman of the hour, our wig. So I do want to tell you a little bit more about the wig before... I try it on and everything because that's the best part and I always want to save the best for last. So this wig retails on their website for $23.99 which is extremely cheap for a nice wig. Um, it's not a lace front and it has one of those solid partings in the middle but I've never seen any wig company do this successfully before but it looks good like wait till I show you it on like it looks good okay so $23 shipping took around I want to say two weeks or two and a half weeks um, I don't remember an exact date but shipping was pretty fast it didn't take a month or anything so let me pull this bad baby out okay so this is our girl oh my god the color is insane. I think it looks really realistic. I'm not usually a huge ombre person, but the ombre on this is really incredible. It it's incredible. So it is 26 inches. I think it's longer. Like, <laughs> I think it's way longer than 26 inches. I didn't measure it though, so I don't have an exact number, but at least 26 inches. It has a body wave, so it's not super curly, but it has a beautiful little beach wave to her. It is heat resistant, so if you did want to restyle it, or you wanted to flat iron it, or give it a new set of curls or waves you could do that it says that the cap size is average medium so when i try it on i will let you know how it fits and the cap construction she's like this it doesn't have any uh clips which i wish it did because that would make it a little easier for it to stay on all day And the parting is just a sewn-in parting. Like, it looks underwhelming when you see it like this, but it, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to put this on. And so the official name of this one is As As Hair pink wig with dark roots, long body, wavy synthetic wig, middle parting heat resistant hair wig for women girls. That's the official name on their website. So now I am going to get my hair ready to put on my wig. Just in case you've never seen me put my wig on, I will show you what I do. So I like to take, I used to do big elastics, but I like to do these little small elastics and I will take all of my hair and flatten it the best that I can to where I look bald 
and I tie the- oh my god, that's not flattering. Y'all, I look like I'm balding because I need to get my roots done. Don't judge me, okay? Okay. So I put it in a very low ponytail. And depending on how thick your hair is, you may need to use a regular size ponytail elastic because it, they might break on really thick hair. So with these, they look like this. They have a thinner top at the top and then a elastic kind of band at the bottom. Okay, I put that around my neck. And I bring it up. It's like a headband. My parents just came home. And my door is open. Okay. So then after I get all of my hair in here like so. Ew. Okay. That's enough fooling around. So I mush it around like this to try to make it flatter. Okay, yes, like this, like a lunch lady. That looks good, okay. The moment of truth. The moment we've all been waiting for. I'm very excited. Okay, lots of people put on their wig like this, like they'll dive into it. I'm not really a big fan of that because it gets the hair everywhere and it really annoys me. Sorry, girl. Okay. That's the wig review. Bye. No. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so funny. Okay. So I move it to my hairline. I'm gonna scoot the camera back so we can see a little better. And I'm gonna use this brush as well. I like this brush. If you have a big purse, I mean, even a small purse, I feel like could fit this brush. This is a nice travel brush. It's on. I look like I'm ready to go to a party. New Year's Eve. Come on. Like, okay, so the part doesn't look the realest. Especially not from up close. But the way that they have it, like, kind of curled like beveled in like this I really do feel like makes a big difference and the quality of the hair it looks like real hair and so like honestly I'm kind of tempted to just go out like this like with my wig like this and like sure maybe you could tell it's a wig but do I really care I don't know because it looks so good so I don't know if I care I just love this wig. I don't even care if it looks like a wig. Cause like, yes, someone might clock it if you're up close in a very brightly lit room or area. But if I'm, look, I'll give you a demo. I'm gonna sit over there and tell me if you think it looks real. Hey girl, you like my new hair? How I style it usually goes one of two ways. I will either wear a bandana, I usually wear black bandanas because black goes with everything, or I will wear a beanie. So I think I'll show you the beanie first because it's pretty much self-explanatory. So yes, here is our beanie. And as soon as I put it on, I feel like you can't even notice it's a wig.
so yeah this is the beanie I love the way the beanie looks I feel cool if my nails were done oh that would be a look that would be a look and now I will show you the bandana so the bandana is a little bit more tricky but once you have done it and you practiced it it's really not a big deal okay so you will need a bandana and a clip or a hair tie so when I wear my bandanas I like to take some pieces from the front and leave them out and then I will clip the rest up and out of the way okay so for our bandana I'm using a black bandana because black bandanas look the coolest so I take the full square bandana I'm gonna try to show you this best I can and I fold it into a triangle and I make sure the ends meet actually I'm gonna fold it this way because I always tie these so they're wrinkly and then I make sure that my ends are lining up well and then I'll take the bandana and I'll set it on top I will straighten it out, make sure it's parallel with each other, with itself. And then I will tie it underneath, avoiding the hair that is clipped up so that you don't get it tangled in the, in the knot of the bandana. And I do two ties. I do once, twice. Just tie it in a knot. Then I take the clip out and I spread my hair out like so. And there you go. I think it's super cute and you can control how much of your um, parting that you want to show. I want to show a little bit because I feel like that makes it look real. I think it is super freaking adorable and super cute. So my final thoughts on this beautifully colored, well-made wig. I think that the price is phenomenal um, for, for the quality of hair. This hair is super amazing. Now, this is not the most realistic parting you're ever going to get, but it's not a lace front. You know what I mean? I think they did super well in the fact that they... They specifically, with intention, made this hairline look as realistic as they possibly could. They took it and they did a little poofing up here to try to make it look more realistic. And I think it worked. Like, I've seen a lot of different wigs that have this kind of parting and they never do this. It never looks realistic. I think for a wig like this, this is the best it's going to get. $23.99? Girl, come on. For all these inches? And if you're really concerned about the parting, put on a bandana. Simple. Or a beanie. Or not care. And just go and rock it. So... This has been my review. Thank you, As As Hair, for sending me this wig. I did pick it out myself, and I am so grateful to work with you guys. This video is not sponsored. They simply just sent me um, an item that I picked out and wanted me to review it. So please follow me on my Snapchat, my TikTok. Oh my god, my TikTok. I got it back. That's why I had two TikToks, because I made a new one called X Bob City X, but now I got my Not a Mercenary TikTok back. I cannot tell you how, how excited that makes me feel. So please um, follow me on TikTok at Nada underscore Mercenary. Follow me at Snapchat at Nada Mercenary. Follow me on Instagram at Nada Mercenary. And follow me on Twitter at Nada Mercenary. 
I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Y'all are my heart and my life. And I will see you in the next one.